Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonicle review. And today's is on uh, Mystica Takanuva from 2008. So we'll start off with the manual, of course. Starting with the Bonicle logo with the Codrex in the center, Takanuva, and Bonicle.com, and picture of him in a fierce pose shooting his Medak Sky Blaster, and the Lego logo is at number 8699. And on the back, add for the online survey, or yeah, the, the add for Lego Club and how to fill out for it, and bongle.com. There's a large ad of all the Fantoka sets, well, winter 2008 range, all the vehicle sets, and add for all the Mystica of the summer range, of course, and the pieces that come with the set, and the last building steps. Talking to you about. Oh, really tall character. I have to pan from top to bottom, bottom to top, of course. So, the feet of which comprised of many Technic pieces and also the Morning Matoran daggers in white, like what you've seen with Predak, of course, and the Hordika feet in white, which is good for mocking. As the, as and of course the legs are what consist of most of the parts. Have a lot of those pieces seen since haven't seen since the new Rama and Throwbots, of course, and also to Hordiga, uh, lower arm pieces, but used as the lower legs. Also kind of gappy with that, even though the Borak eye teeth don't barely get much filling, and of course. Still having the pistons that Brutaka and Axon introduced. And the knee pads, which are Fantoka Pohatu's lower arm pieces in gunmetal gray. And then on to the uh, hip part, part, which are the Metru limbs connected to two Hordika uh, neck pieces, of which two obviously hold the legs and the whole, his whole body up, of course. And having an Ica foot piece from Kopaka, Fantoka, used there. And of course, the shield piece used in, introduced in this Mystica line, but in Gunmetal Gray. And of course, this kind of which reused with Fire Lord in the 2011 Hero Factory. And on to the back, or just few Technic beams that hold all of it up, holding in a Nika torso in it, and Alpha Torn limb pieces, kind of acting as like scapulas. And for the shoulder armor, comprised of Baraki Takadox head pieces in Gunmel Gray. Interesting use of pieces. And also, fill the gaps of the lower upper arms are, of course, with the uh, Mantax uh, claws to do it. So, the Nyka limbs there. And then the hands of which comprised of a Marini Matoran dagger and the Gorasp and Bittles claws, but in white, of, it, of course. And of course, can turn this and spin the spear, the sword light spear, of course. And of course, comprised of three of Fantoka Liwa's uh, swords, of course. And the other arm, just nothing much, except for the Medak Sky Blaster. The back can fire like so. And so, on to the mask. Which does look just about like his original kind, but in Gunmel Gray, and of course it's a lot much larger and just like more large and pressed in or something. And of course the head is just on a metro head, but on a double joint of which make it raise up a little. And why he has this color scheme, of course, is mainly because 
He was affected by the shower leeches and drained most of his light to course. Which is why he, they, he lost the gold. Um, but at least this kind of did stick with him until the his 2010 Stars version. And if you look and for a little size comparison, is with Hydraxon two years earlier, it's quite a bit, actually a lot taller, of course. Since of course, Hydraxon was twenty dollars at his time, and Takanuva was thirty at his time. And well, the designs are about the, the same or similar to that of Toa Matanui set in the following year, but he had some changes to him, of course. Like I see, the lower legs are just multiple pieces rather than just one single piece, of course. And so for my final verdict on Takanuva, is overall he of which I think quite cool set of 2008 Mystica line. Like also first time of having Takanuva since 2003, obviously. Even though he may have some gummel gray coloring to him rather than gold, but it kind of shows how he was drained of his life from the Shadow Leeches, of course. And also some unique good mocking pieces for him, of course. Like in the X Sky Blaster and all. And of course. And also, he to me is probably a bit stronger than Wakuda Ikarax, even though in the storyline wise, it is said that he that Wakuda Ikarax is a little stronger than him. Of course. But at least Titan version does kind of make him stand out a little better, making him a bit better than the first version. Although, would have been neat if included his Usani, also from the original version, but that probably would bump his price up like way so much. Probably like a hundred bucks or so. But this version, still fair enough. And if those of you who still have him from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories with him. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say truly go ahead and get him, like eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.